I'm not giving you a search warrant. You can work it as a couple of private citizens, but I don't want to know anything about it. There's been too many corpses already, so remember, no more blood. your attention, please. In addition to my past contributions to the city of Miami, I am proud to announce that this will be Miami's biggest ever construction project, and I could never have done it without your help. Thank you. Bill, my partner. Hmm? Who? Who are you, anyway? Can we have a little talk? Come into the house. Excuse me, please. Take a seat, please. Take a chair. The only excuse I can find for you, gentlemen, is that you're from a loony farm. What do you want? We want to tell you the piece of old history. Just to see how good your memory is. Eight years ago, three bandits held up the Detroit Federal Bank for $20 million. And? We caught one of them, only one of them, Garrett. But he wouldn't rattle anyone. Very interesting. Continue. Then Garrett got out of jail and came here to Miami to find his friend, Ralph Duran, and his share for the robbery. Garrett found Duran. But Duran had a new face and a new name. And the same old killer instinct. Never can guess what happened next. They found Garrett's body with six inches of cold steel in it. And we're convinced that Ralph Duran lives in this mansion and is sitting in front of us. Right, Mr. Duran? <laughs> Fantastic. It's a bad joke. You should be fiction writers. You're wasting the cops. I'm going to ruin you. Oh, yeah? Look at me. I'm trembling all over, sir. I'll give you a chance to ruin us. How? We want to take your fingerprints and see if they match your hands. If we're wrong, you can bury us. Okay with me. I've got nothing against taking my prints, but first I'd like to make a call. Miami Police Department, can I help you? Robert Delman speaking. Get me Mr. Reisner. He's the police commissioner. My dear Robert, what can I do for you? Joe. Two of your men are in my house with some cockamamie story about me not being myself, but some hood named Duran, a bank robber, a killer. What? There's more. I believe these two officers are the crooks who broke into my locker at the golf club the other night. They didn't report it then, so I'll do it now. This is outrageous, Robert. You have my utmost apologies. They insist on fingerprinting me. Don't ask me why. Naturally, I'm more than willing to cooperate. But I shall make a formal complaint to the city 
suing for damages. I'm telling you all this because you're an old friend. Unfortunately, these jokers are going to cost you some headaches while with the elections coming up. Yes, of course. Put those two on the line. Go ahead. They can hear you. Identify yourself. Officer J. Donnell. I own your department. Officer L.A. Ray. Ditto. Get back to your precinct and consider yourselves under arrest. Tell Tanny I'll be in his office in half an hour. This country can boast of having the greatest constitution in the world. And you harass the city's most influential and illustrious citizen. I'm amazed at you, Tanny. I don't need to tell you I expect your resignation. You too? Hand in your uniforms and badges. I've already notified your superiors. They'll be taking the necessary action against you. That's all. Sorry, Chief. Hey, it's my fault, too. We tried. Just didn't work out. Thanks. People like Delman to make the early garbage and stuff. I'm off the force, and I'm going back to my helicopters. Hello, Mrs. Clay. Can I help you? We were just passing by, so I said to the children, let's go in and thank those two angels. Oh, Danell and Ray. Mm. Right now, they need all the gratitude they can get. Oh, why is that? You see, they had a problem last week. Here's the one. If it makes any difference, the men are on your side. Oh, excuse me. I'm Mrs. Clay. Oh. Well, I, I heard about Wait. what happened. I'm really sorry. The children and I wanted to thank you for oh, what you okay. did. Yeah, sure, sure. Take care, kid. Good luck. Shut up. Now you know I quit the Bureau. To the politics. Well, at least we did something for the Clay family. Hey, taxi! You want to say adios to Irene? Nah, I don't think so. What about Annabelle? Are you kidding? I'm not in the mood to arm wrestle. Let's just go get our bags and then head straight for the airport. I'm going to turn it in tomorrow. Oh, don't. Why? What's going on? 
Listen, by the time we finish, it'll be right in there. That's yours. Excuse me, sir. Now, what is it, Ramon? This special delivery just arrived for you. Thank you. May I? Now, I finish. Thank you. Original of the tape you're about to hear is in my hands. Hi, Ralph. Your charred body was found March 1978, but you and I know it wasn't you. It was our unlucky partner, Phillips. We heard the penny disappear at the same time your body was found. <laughs> you always used to talk about Florida and disappearing and doing a plastic job on your face. And who lived in Miami back then, huh? The number one underground plastic surgeon, Deneza. It was only a month after your, excuse me, Phillips cremation that a truck blew Deneza away. Very neat, Ralph. Right off, I figured you... Who is it? Right now, I bet you're even paler than...